Well, it was called by virtually everyone. The dream matchup. Couldn't think of anything to compare. I have to say they're going to be, and this is taking nothing away from a brilliant performance by the Bucks, but going to be a lot of people disappointed that the game did not live up to the hype. Well, if you're a Tampa fan, you you, you love this. Kansas City not, but you, the, yeah, a lot of other. But these two quarterbacks have really stood out, right? Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. He's gone to 10 Super Bowls. He has now won his seventh Super Bowl. And I talked about it earlier in the week. If Patrick Mahomes would have won this game, he would have went from six to two, and that's a mountain you can climb. Seven to one means that Mahomes now has to probably get to eight. And we're only talking about him because we think he's that special and that good. This one will hurt and sting, but this kid's going to play in a ton of them, and he's going to play and win a ton of them. But getting to eight, Jim? Oh, my God. Because so if it's seven, Brady beats you head to head. It's the hardest game to get to, and it's just amazing to think that Tom had three by the age of 27. And then didn't have a single Super Bowl win between ages 28 to 36, zero. And now here he is at age from 37 to now at 43. This will be his fourth since the age of 37. He's just figured out how to continue to play at an incredibly high level in his work ethic, commitment to his sport and craft. And just people don't realize the 5 a.m. studying sessions on Monday to get his team to have a great scheme you know, this year and learning all new players and offenses. Again, the Verizon halftime, I'm sorry, Verizon post-game show with J.B., Phil, Nate Boomer, and Coach Cower. Their highlights, their analysis of the game. And we're going to present the Lombardi Trophy. That's all coming up. Plus the naming of the Super Bowl 55 MVP coming up on the Verizon post-game show. Well, I do think, you know, it's not inconceivable. What happens if these two teams met again next year and Mahomes beats him then? Then he kind of closes the count, right? That's not the way to I didn't hear that all, the build-up. Okay. Okay. I'm just yeah. saying, that one still gives him. I'm him, I'm always thinking optimistically. But what a job Tom Brady and this Buccaneers team has done. Look at this. Moving for a long ball over the head of Brown. Well, the reason they do that is the safest throw right there. Throw just, deep, one-on-one. -on -one. Just want to send along our thoughts and prayers for the little girls and uh, children that were injured in the car crash Thursday night involving head coach Andy Reid's son, Britt. Multi-vehicle accident. Two children in the car hit by Reid's car. Britt Reid's car. He's the outside linebacker coach. Seriously injured. One in, involving life-threatening injuries and uh, seeing the picture of the little girl and uh, she's and her family are very much in our thoughts and prayers. Pin in the punt, 3.35 to go. Tyreek, back on the punt return. First time tonight, he races out of bounds. Well, how about Bruce Arians? Two years ago, he was working for CBS. Shows you anything's possible, Tony. You're right. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll see you. Sure has been fun. <laughs> he uh, he worked with Greg Gumbel and Trent Green. Did a game every week for us. Said he couldn't really use his real voice. At times I thought he might have meant his real vocabulary <laughs> when he was talking to us about it. But uh, he enjoyed it. He loved going to the practices, the meetings, and finding out what teamwork is like on the broadcast side of it. And still has his CBS blazer, he says, inside his closet at home. What a special season, and they don't get here without Bruce Arians and his adjustment ability. The ball hit the ground and complete. Without his vision, and to keep this team going, 7-5. and five. You know how hard that is to get your team, I mean, to go undefeated from that point on? I mean, it starts with your head coach and his vision, and it trickles down. And that's a close call right there. But I think that's an incomplete pass. But what a fantastic job. He deserves a ton of credit. Second and ten. He'll be able to grab it. He'll be about two yards short. Now, he's an interesting guy and has been successful. It took him a long time talking about Bruce Arians to get a head coaching job, and he finally got one out of Arizona. All he did is win a couple of coaches, Coach of the Year awards. 
players love playing for him. Edwards Alaire, down to about the 31. Well, you know, one thing is like, well, if Kansas City was healthy, I mean, you have a lot of shoot. Here's the one thing. They played the first quarter. Kansas City was ahead 17-0 earlier this year. From that point on, Tampa Bay's won 55 to 19, Jim. That's that's not random. The rest of that game, they came back. Tampa ended up losing. Kansas City kind of dominated early, but the adjustments Tampa has made have kind of shown you they've just been more physical. They've won these these games in the trenches, or I mean, they've really won late in the year in the trenches. And then Tom just kind of gives you the Tom Brady specialness. It was a team. According to the coach, that the process took forever <laughs> to get it to come together. After the no OTAs, they lost O.J. Howard, their tight end, who Brady was really high on right before the start of the season. Evans was injured early. Godwin had missed time during the season. Miller was injured. A.B. signed uh, in late October. Fournette, of course, had to come over off the waiver wire and catch up. So once you kind of got all that gelled, and that, again, would be on the timeline, right around the bye week of the first of December, well, they had their team in place for this stretch drive. I mean, it's a heck of a team. I've heard people say, there's a lot more weapons than, than Tom ever had in New England as far as being surrounded by great talent. There's Mark, a lot here. You're right, they have a lot of talent. But come on, this, they had Randy Moss and Wes Welling. Yeah, you're going back to <laughs> seven now. Yeah, okay. But you are right, this team does have some ability. And they're not going away, I don't think. No. They got to give Jason Light a lot of credit, too. Their general oh. manager done a tremendous job. Hall of Fame careers, and try not to look at, you know, the hairstyles here. Look at the numbers. It's pretty impressive. As Kelsey has the catch down to about the 25. It's just running for your life, a little backyard football getting out. But but you never thought this night would be this one-sided on either side. No, no, we thought this would. I thought this would come down to one of the quarterbacks having an opportunity. You like every you time you watch something about one the, for the ages. I think <laughs> that was you. That was you. Know, but I actually agreed with you. And I'll tell you though, it's gonna sting. But these two quarterbacks very seldom. Like this year, we watched Brady get blown out a couple times. That's so rare. I mean, for great quarterbacks, because eventually you figure out what the defense is doing. And tonight, there really wasn't a lot of answers for Mahomes. You know, it was like, okay, we know what you're doing. Because they didn't, like, change it up 50 different plays. They kind of lined up and said, we're doing this, but we're just going to go ahead and beat you up front at those spots where you guys are have backups. And what a plan by Todd Bowles. Todd he has so much stuff yeah. in, but he just kept it simple in a brilliant way. Former Jets coach who was interviewed um, as the coaching carousel and all of that was taking place in January and Uncle Joe took a look, look at him. Got to think someday, hopefully he's going to get a second chance at it. He's a great coach. Oh yeah, him and Biennemi both. Next year they should be head coaches. On fourth and three, they complete it to Robinson for the first down. Take us to the two minute gym. If you could this give us one of the great sound offs at the two minute, I would love to hear it. You got five. Go. You are watching the NFL. Count me down on CBS One. It's just flawless.